God was gazing at Jacob. At the beginning of his life, God was gazing at Jacob. Abraham how he made the story in the hand of Abraham and his father Isaac in the way in the command and in all the things that the Lord she had told them till Jacob was navigating the journey of his life as he wished and God was appearing to him and God knew that the way was going God knew he was going to lose Jacob because the way he was doing it he would do it to a point the covenant and the agreement of Abraham would not be able to cover him chapter 35 that is why you see in the book of Genesis chapter 35 that is why God told Jacob the what? Jacob 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 Arise and go back to Bethel and live there Remember that Bethel? When Jacob got there the other time, Jacob had nothing. He was just there with a star. He was just there with a star. And the clothes he wore. And something that was given to him as a cover clothes. When he got to Bethel in Luz, he used stone and he placed his head on the stone. Oh, no, 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 Remember the goodness that he has done for him and remember the plan and purpose that he has over him from Abraham even down to Isaac. And God told him in verse 1, Arise and go to Bethel. We don't know the fear that was attached with this instruction. Because God always supports all his warning with fear because he knows every man. And Jacob went to Bethel. Because anxiety had preoccupied the heart of Jacob. And God wanted Jacob to serve him. Because Jacob was God. Before he was born, God had said, Jacob, I loved Esau, I hated. The elect of God wanted to lose his election. And God drew him to himself. So you are God's elect. God has been gazing at you. Do what you like to do in pursuing Make effort as you can. Now it's time in the sight of God. Foundation. He has brought you back on your foundation. Do you remember how you so much fear God in your childhood when you were without hope? Do you remember how you so much fear God in your childhood when you were without hope? If someone should tell you, Jacob had met God. But the anxiety that was in the mind of Jacob concerning that journey and he didn't know where the journey would end, this thing preoccupied the mind of Jacob. 
not that Isaac was not rich. But when he got to Laban, he discovered that the world can still go beyond that point. Evil thoughts came into his mind. How would life be greater than Isaac, my father? How would life be richer than my father? As you always think of it, how will you become uh, brilliant financially uh -huh. and your pockets will be filled with me. dollars, pounds? Uh -huh. Heroes. And other forms of currency. How will you be famous? Oh, da, da, this is a good thing. But you have to add God redeemed. So that you can make good progress. So that things can go well, God sent Jacob back to Bethel. Not that God relegated him or offered him. God even blessed the things of Jacob more. Jacob became richer. Jacob became greater. All the days of his life.